As for the method by which you retrieve the crystal from his gut, I should leave that to your discretion. Listen, as long as it works. <laughs> That is what matters here. It's just gotta work. Uh, you know sure. Spend too spend too long thinking about what the fastest path is, and then all of a sudden just going there from where from wherever would have been faster. Yeah. It's just kind of what you gotta do. Saw La Habrea. Is that when we killed Titan? Yes. Wait, no. We didn't see La Habrea when we killed Titan. We saw the uh, we saw the Garleans when we killed Titan. When's the last time we saw La Habrea? A uh, hawk, I believe. Then. What's a hawk? Hawk Manor. Bird. The the place where you fought where we fought the uh, Demon Lady. Uh, yeah, that narrows it down. The actual, like, succubus-looking lady who had all the bandages on her face. I wish I was a succubus. I can't buy succubus horns at, uh, the Gold Saucer, actually. Yes, you can. Hello, Spriggans. I'm here to murder one of your own. Oh, these are stronger Spriggans. Oh, and there's a Crater Golem here. Fun. Have a true heart. Hostile Presence. Oh, god, you're big. Oh, no. The Crater Golem saw me. <laughs> Okay, deliver corrupted crystal. Why aren't the Spriggans considered a beast tribe? Uh, because they can't speak. Aren't the goblins technically a beast tribe? Yes, but they can speak. Well, yes, but also, what, what primal do they follow, then? They answer that question in Heaven's Word. And it's kind of terrifying. Is is it a spoiler, then? Is it a what? Is it a spoiler? Uh, no. Would, so, would you like to know? Sure. Is it Bahamut? They created Alexander. What does that mean? It means exactly what I said. They created, as in, like, physically made, made Alexander. Who's Alexander? Uh, basically, the primal of time. Well, that's fair enough. I appreciate it. Ah, pretty did not sneak up on me like that. I was grossed in... Wait, what is that? <laughs> what is that god's awful smell? Well, you had me tear this corrupted crystal out, out of a spriggan, so... My word, that is a breathtakingly beautiful crystal. I say my supposition was not mistaken. Ugh, and I also see you were not you weren't averse to digging through through Spriggan entrails for your prize. I'll hear it back again. <clears throat> we all work for a friend a debt, a debt of gratitude, you know. This thick coating of digestive juices is protecting us from the harmful effects of the crystal, just as the word pot you once used did. I so glum, friend, you finally obtained the corrupted crystal you sought. One overflowing with earth aspected ether. Calm down, I jest, I jest. It is comprised of ice aspected ether. Worry not. 
I suppose that joke was in poor taste, considering your previous two attempts were for not. I don't know. It's your life you're playing with, dude. Uh, beg your pardon, Lucia. I forgot to return the to return your crystal to you. Oh, and there was a message for you from Professor uh from Professor Lambertain. Uh, something about a man named Marcus. Apparently, the professor misses the intellectual stimulation. F forgive me. I should have written it down. It occurs to me that I have yet to ask you why you needed that crystal. You aren't planning anything nefarious, are you? It would reflect poorly on me and my research if it was used for evil deeds. Ah, well, perhaps it's best I remain ignorant. I didn't become the professor's greatest pupil by filling my head with unnecessary information. Oh, so it's a new Granadian. Oh, why am I so why am I so high level? Um, because the way they reworked the experience you get in Realm Reborn makes you very high level for stuff. Well, that's unfortunate. Uh. That was interesting. Uh, you'll figure out why I said that's unfortunate uh, relatively soon. Because you're fishing? It's raining in Gridania. Makes sense. <laughs> oh shit, it's raining Gridania here too. Hold on. I'm also gonna go make money. Yeah. It's a very efficient way. It really is though. Like I know I like I know that like we kinda like theory crafted with that theory crafted that a little bit together, but like damn. <laughs> yeah. Uh, generally speaking, you can be confident in the ability for uh, 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 for each rain color to sell for like twelve fifty. Makes sense. I got a set of five to sell for sixteen fifty once. Very nice. As in like one thousand two hundred or sixteen fifty each. So times that by five. That's a fair bit of cash. Uh, yeah. Uh, there's. A I reason... forget. What do you need to get those? Uh, stem bores. I think also something else, but Stem Borer is the one they tell you for the quest, so I haven't cared enough. Uh, Stem Borer is also um, how you get the uh, Storm Dancer, which is the rare fish here. Gotcha. Um, essentially, if you do the same stuff uh, for Raven Collar and you just fish, like, I think it's between 1 a.m. and 3 a.m., so I might actually catch one. Um, you can also get a Storm Dancer. Neat. It's good it, to know. 3 a.m. is either when it ends or when it starts for Storm Dancer. One of the two. <laughs> Lucy, what are you doing? We need to, we need to go stop Garuda. I have something very important that I need to attend to right now. Don't worry, uh, don't worry. If I fish enough, I'll ca I'll ca I'll, I'll catch a corrupted ice crystal. Honestly, not not necessarily wrong. Are corrupted not crystals you, like something you can get at any point, or is it just key items? I think it's just key items. I Boring. think. Although to be fair, our entire thing is crystals. I think I feel like corrupted crystals might make might be even worse for us than a normal person. A little bit. Oh, it's no longer raining here. Damn. Ha <laughs> ha. Oh wait, what did you say it was? Crab balls? Stem borers. Stem borers. There's like a little worm. Do you really not have any more of those? I tend to run out of them very quickly, because I use them a lot. I mean, it makes sense. Hmm. 
See, I just catch them. Any high quality ones, I put down to low quality, and then I sell them in, st in as many stacks of five as I can manage. The leftover ones, I just keep until the next time I fish. Hey, makes sense to me. Because I feel like if someone's going to buy one of them, they're going to buy all five of them, so... Mm. I might as well just sell them in fives. Yeah, makes sense. What's that? What is that lance? The... Uh, replica elegant spear. Mmm. I know what that is now. It is, well, mostly a glamour item at this point. It just flashed. It just flashed across my screen for a second, and I was like, "What in the world was that?" Also, if you wonder why my inventory fills up, I uh, keep forgetting to press this button. <laughs> oh. Uh, that should be fine. I don't think I'll run out of GP. My GP regen is good enough. Hopefully. Still have not caught the flying carpet in the dune fishing. Well. I just... I just haven't found found a time that works for it. Because you need to be there at a certain time during heat waves, and I never I almost never see heat waves happen there. It's it's one of those like mythical uh I guess there's a reason it's a mythical fish. Yeah. So you're supposed to be be able to find these by finding like lore tomes about fishing or something? I think so, yeah. I have and that's I, where... I have not seen a lore tome yet, and I don't know where you're supposed to get them. I believe you're supposed to get them from Mordona. Well, that's not my problem. I have a better lore tome called the Internet. <laughs> the most powerful of all lore tomes. Oh, excuse me. Oh yeah, uh, so did you want to play uh, play League after this at like maybe 11-ish? Sure. Not like for stream, but just once the stream's over. Yeah, yeah just casually. Yeah, I don't feel like streaming. Yeah. I, I don't feel like streaming for that much longer. I am tired and family is visiting tomorrow. Ah, uh, that's always fun. Yeah, it's fine. I will ignore them for most of the time that they're here, probably. <laughs> But yeah, I'll be around tomorrow if you need you a distraction. Hmm. Oh, I've actually never seen that on mixed split. It actually says how much of my CPU and GPU it's using up. Huh. It's using about 50% uh, of each, which I'm cool with. That's kind of neat. I, I kind of didn't expect that, gonna be, gonna be honest. Yeah, it looks like it's using up about 50% of my CPU pretty consistently, going up and down a tiny bit, and then it's using about 40% of my GPU going up and down a tiny bit. Well, basically, 50-40, exactly. Huh. That's kind of neat, actually. Although, to be fair, I think I can also see that by opening Task Manager, so... Okay, if I catch two yeah. more, I'll be done for the stream, because, um, you know. Just tired. No, I mean, I'll be done with fishing for the stream. Ah! Because <laughs> I'll be at 15 then, and I can put them up for sale and then, uh, be done with it. Sounds good. sell a marble seedling for? I'm assuming it's basically nothing. Like, pretty much nothing, yeah. <sighs> I think 
Uh, do you think that Shion has that uh, minion yet? Uh, if she hasn't done uh, Arm Veil, she definitely won't. Well, I mean, I had it before I did Arm Veil. I did Arm Veil once, and I have and I have one left over now. Hmm. I got one for my free company. Nice, very nice. Yeah, they just filled uh, filled an entire uh, 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 page of the of the company chest with them. I was like, just take them. Anyone who doesn't have one yet, just take it. Just, just, just take it for the love, of, for the love of God. Just please, please get these out of our inventory. Which God? Yes. Uh, it's one of my favorite things. Uh, uh, this uh, uh, this actually came up in the uh, Sentinels of Light uh, uh, as a visual novel uh, for League, mm -hmm. uh, the, uh, the like event thing that they did. Yeah. Um, at one point, uh, Lucian says, like, uh, something like, uh, what in the hells is that? And one of your options for responding to it is, how many hells are there exactly? <laughs> Trust me, you don't want to know. Uh, uh, that entire event is basically just how, <laughs> just how much can I annoy Lucian by being an idiot? Sounds about right. Yeah, um, a lot of people really hated that event. I love that event. <laughs> it was the exact type of silliness I like. Fair. I wonder how much of my other stuff has been sold since the last time I logged into. I haven't checked this. Uh, I haven't checked uh, this uh, stream yet. It's only five items. I don't. No, you didn't. It's all those marlins. Um, people don't buy marlins as much as they buy rain colors, like at all. Yeah, nobody's buying the storm dancer either. I mean, I think I would. I would think that like a big reason for that is that um, people are people get more stuck on that on the rain color one because, because it's very it's it's weather specific time. Yeah. Let's see how those sell. <coughs> ah! Bless you. I should actually check the going rate for those right now. They might have uh, gotten cheaper. Ooh. One gill? Nah, game, you don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> It's really funny how little the game actually, like, um, knows about how much its own items are worth. Yeah! Yeah. Yeah. How much is this? Oh, they're, well... I'm selling the cheapest high-quality one, at least, so... Eh. Not that you... The thing is, the only place you can actually put a Storm Dancer is in an aquarium, and I'm pretty sure high quality doesn't matter for that. Nope. It's nice to have, though, if you're, like, collecting stuff. Oh, absolutely. Uh... Oh, they're, like, 8,000. 8,000? 8, um, well... Okay. That's fair enough. You know, I will sell a Marlin for 8,000 as long as I get to sell it. <laughs> <laughs> I've sold a couple at 15,000. It just takes a while. Because <laughs> some people will look at it and be like, do I really want to spend that much money on this? Well, people will and look at it yes. and... <laughs> well, the thing is that people oh, will look at it and say, well... Well, they don't look at it because they see the ones at 8,000 and they buy all those. And then once those are gone, they have to buy it at my price. There you go. <laughs> but um, that do that doesn't happen very often. No, go away. Sorry, I didn't mean to call you back again. Goodbye. 
Oke. Okay. I think I should just do a league stream someday where it's just Give me the dumbest build you can think of and I'll try to do it. Um I I'm down. I like this idea. It will of course have to be like with with uh champions I own and that's not very many yet, but I can just like like essentially show my list and be like, "Okay, think of uh think of a dumb like build idea." Like shall augment ash. No, shut up. <laughs> that's not even a build. That's just uh, that's just ash without a keystone. Glacial augment ash. Ash without a keystone. Yeah, exactly. Because <laughs> glacial augment doesn't do anything besides the slow, does it? Maybe. Oh, he said ash. Because uh, I know the slow is the main part of it, and that's why you take it on Senna because it lets her keep up with uh, people. Uh, 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 lets her like uh, uh, either either uh, kite people so they can't get at her or chase down people she's trying to kill. Ah. Uh. Uh, Senna is the... basically the epitome of... of um, I'm a healer, but cocks gun. Yeah. <laughs> Doesn't even cock the gun. Just points it. Just points it at her enemies. I don't know if she can... I don't know if she can cock her cannon because it fires pure darkness or whatever. You know. Great news, madam. Do you wish to proceed to your vessel? <sighs> Oh, are we, like, doing this now? Like, Garuda? Uh, maybe. All repairs and modifications have been completed, Lucia. Once you bring me that crystal, nothing will stand between us and Garuda. Okay, well... I'll need to run some tests to be sure, but this looks to be exactly what we need. Worry not, Lucia. I'll see that your hard work doesn't go to waste. Nod. Where is Alice during all of this? Do you want to know the funny thing? Yeah. I have no idea. I'm sure that there's some kind of, like, thing that they, I... like, have said at some point. that just like, oh yeah, she was out doing this. Well, I was gonna say, I know what she's. I know what she's doing. I don't know where she is. Ah, uh, okay. If that makes sense. Okay. Uh, the Enterprise is already more than a common airship. Or, er, uh, but mark my words, soon it will become something greater, something extraordinary. This, this is me. This is what I was born to do. Okay, give me my mithril pants. That I can't use, but I will use for Dark Knight relatively, kind of soonish now. At least compared kind of to when I, at least compared to when I first started planning about it. <laughs> True. Uh, when I look at her, I feel as though I've come home. I can think of no other way to express it. Oh hey, creepy face. Ah! Third one. What? What have you just done to me? What happened? What was that sound you made? I don't know. <laughs> I was trying to I was trying to be a crazy guru lady. According to my tests, the device is now functioning in perfect harmony with the crystal. We knew we could leave whenever you're ready. You must understand, tests can only tell one so much. Until we approach the howling eye, until we attempt to breach the barrier itself, I cannot be sure this will work. I think it's only fair to tell you that there is a small but statistically significant chance that the crystal would trigger a massive hmm. May have it may have it better we remain positive. Uh explosion? Giant wind uh essentially Russ and Shuriken right on top of us. Let's just say it won't be pr let's just say that whoever has to clean up us up afterwards won't like what they have to see. Hey, you know, I just learned about how wind like uh you know, destroys things with a million tiny cuts. Um Lucy, I want to thank you for reuniting me with my ship, for trusting in me to develop this plan, for everything. You helped me rediscover a part of myself I'd forgotten. I am not the man who I once was, and I do not know if I ever shall be, but I do know one thing. This feels right. My apologies for the sudden outpouring of sentiment. I w would have waited until after the mission, but, well, you understand. Yeah, we're gonna die, it's fine. 
Oh yeah, you guys are so gonna die. No, it's fine. That one guard saw the future and knows I'm a warrior of light, and I'm not that yet, so I'm fine. What, what are you talking about? What's a warrior of light? Was Sid just voiced for a second? Have I heard Sid talk actually before this? I'm trying to remember. You have not. I believe this is the first time that that he that he speaks. Uh, Selfie knows a total nerd. Yes. Over <laughs> Realm Reborn, Alpha knows a, a lot of words. <laughs> hey, look, an airship that's actually balanced. No one says airship is the best. He actually, you know, knows how to freaking knows how to make a stable construction. Yeah. How the hell do I catch that? That's worth so much a script. What the fuck? Now he has a thingy on his forehead. What does that mean again? Uh, like goggles? No, the little crystal. Uh, he just took his goggles off and... There's a little crystal on his forehead. Uh, that signifies that he is that he is in fact a garlic. Didn't we already know that? Uh, I think so. I could have swore I knew that. I mean, his name kind of gives it away. Well, yeah. And I was not alone. There were adventurers on board. Adventurers like you. Echo! Just... How long have you damn goggles? Question, couldn't people with the Echo be the only people that know what the Warriors of Light looked like? Because they can see them in the Echo? You're about to find out, actually. Oh. I was gonna say, and then and then I just remember that, like, wait, no, they actually explained that, or at least kind of explain it. Born and raised in Garlemagne. It was only natural that the precocious young student should become an engineer. Had his father not done the same? Look at him. Father, Being a good engineer. Stop seeing eye to eye. It's almost like that's this is what every Sid does in, in Final Fantasy. Yeah, you know. When did Meteor become your everything, and your loved ones cease to matter? <laughs> you abandon us all. But he was there for me, father. There for me when you were not. Hmm. What's that guy's name again? Though he proved no better. Uh, Gaius? Oh, Gaius, yeah, he Gaius just said it. 
Marcus, just another man with an all consuming <laughs> obsession. I actually really love the long cutscenes. We haven't gotten very many in in uh and so in a era. Uh, behind and came to you will you office. will get used to them because Rome Reborn has a lot of those for its finale. Good. Hey, it's those two. Uh, like, th uh, those two were kidnapped when the scions got taken down, right? Which two? Uh, Biggs and Wedge. They clearly disappeared somewhere. But we... Well, oh, well. You don't know where they are. I, th I thought I saw them getting carried off. They might have been. When they were taking uh, Minfilia. Mm hmm Because it showed Minfilia, and then it showed, like, a couple other people in the background getting pulled away, and I thought I saw Biggs and Wedge. Ah, yes. It was then that I first donned these goggles. I could see it. Rainbow shrimp, that's not what I mean. Eorzea opened my eyes. It was home to so many manner of people, each with their own hopes and dreams. People worth saving, and so I fought beside them. So, so is there any explanation for why uh, the Garleans have uh, the forehead crystal thingy? I know there is. But for the life of me right now, I cannot think of it. But also, uh, that's a thing you can choose for your character to have sometimes, can't you? Uh, it's a different thing, depending on the character. Okay. I know that, like, for Guardians specifically, that's something that is actually... Uh, I want to say it's a, it's a symbol... It's a status symbol? Hmm... I wanted to I want to say it's a status symbol, but I don't think way. that's right. It might have something to do with helping them um What's it? Channel helping them use their channel aether cuz they can't. Uh use the use the equipment that they that they use to mimic aether stuff. Hmm. Because, because again, they they straight up just can't yeah. use anything either. Wonderful it was, the wind in your hair, the endless sky, that light. It was you, wasn't it? It's surprising how few people know this, but all pure blood guardians have a third eye. Oh, all pure blood guardians have a third eye. Perhaps mine helped me recognize. Ah. Perhaps it was just a lucky guess. There we go. He recognized me from what? The Enterprise was made for this. To carry Eorzea's protectors into battle. Well, let's just say that this is kind of the first hint that you're... Something a little more than just an adventure. I mean, yeah. But, mm-hmm. Okay. You know, assuming that Mr. Uh, PvP guy didn't immediately tell you about it. <laughs> yeah, you know. Sid? What exactly do you remember? Alphinord, my boy. Sorry to have been such a burden. And they just called him Alphinord again? Yep, um... They, they call him that until, uh... Until heaven's word. My people and my purpose. Everything. Come, it would be rude to keep going away. That's the right one. Since so got all his members back. Oh, here we go. Yeah. We're going in. <laughs> We're going in. <laughs> Oh uh, yeah, I do. I do uh, very much like cutscenes because I do actually like really like the lore of the world and stuff like that. Oh, they do such a good job, and like, especially in 
Heavensward onward. They do a lot more with them. Cool. All our efforts, all our travails, all of it was for this. Make ready, Lucia, for the end is nigh, be it hers or our own. Okay, Howling Eye is now accessible. Get in here. Uh, hold on, I was fishing. Of course you were. I was! I was trying to get a rare fish. Uh, she, let's see, she, Elon, I know, is at Heaven's Word. Yeah, I know, I was just wondering if she wanted to do with us. Yeah. But actually, I... Hmm. Is there any way for me to leave here right now? Or am I just here? I mean, you can teleport. But how would I get back? Uh, well, here's the, here's the bright side. You don't have to. Well, but it's in the duty finder, but I... So, so do Alphano and Sid, like, move after you finish it, then? I... Or does it I bring you back that, like, here after you do it? It'll bring you back here after... It'll bring you back to where, uh, the cutscene will, will drop you off. Hmm, fun. Um, when, when you do it. Uh, yeah. where, what was that thing that filled out, wasn't it? Oh, you're super close to 52. Yeah. Uh, if we did this, I would be 50. I mean, do you want to do it? Um, yeah, I don't know, Shion is, um, gone, and also she went ahead anyway, so. Mm-hmm. I just want to... The, the story got her hooked. Uh, yeah, I can see why. Mm. Oh, and trust me, you haven't even gotten to the point where she's at, and where, she, where like, the story for her really got to her. <laughs> you'll, you'll see. You'll see when we get there. Okay, yeah. So, boop. Boop. Uh, boop. Oh, 15 minutes. Okay. Uh, Sid, off and Uh, see ya! I got other shit to do! I'll be back! <laughs> oh, she was saying we could do it if we don't want to wait. It means I get to go back to fishing and trying to catch the fucking. What are you trying to catch right now? Is it a fish I don't know uh, about? Is it, it is a fish, fish that you don't know about. Do I need to have a specific weather condition for this? Uh, probably. If it's if it's a legendary fish, it usually has something weird about it. Usually it's time. Sometimes it's time and weather. Sometimes it's time and get. Or uh, also it's usually uh, gathering amount. Uh, sometimes it's time and weather sequence. Mm-hmm. Those ones are annoying. Good, I've got I've got the shit I need to go get on. Um I could go I don't know. Talk a little more down. Yeah. And it's gonna show up in about four hours.
Uh, well, let's see what this does. Hey, hey, Napatayun. Oh, wow. Oh, is this how you're supposed to get the materia for the uh, for the uh, for uh, the crafter end quests? Because this is a Probably. Battle Dance three and a Piety three that I get for completing this quest. I think that's definitely a way to that it helps. I, for, I don't know that you're quote, supposed to do it. Uh, the Crystal Tower is more than my chosen field. It is a passion that it uh, uh, that a structure of such magnitude could appear overnight uh, on the heels of the calamity. Uh, or uh, uh, wait, that, that that a structure of such magnitude could appear overnight on the heels of the calamity. It's been five years since the mysteries I have resisted my patient courtship. But I will wear down its modesty, or my name is is not uh, is not Nepatayun. Uh, uh, you know of the crystallized plane to the west of Revenant's Toll, do you not? All my research today points to an important discovery to be made in that glittering expanse, likely the key to the tower itself. And yet, and yet, I am I am unjustly barred from a closer look at the tower by by Nixes. Oh, you understand, do you not? They must die, those Nixes. I will not suffer them uh, to keep me from. Uh, or, I will not suffer them to keep me from penetrating the secrets of the tower. Is it just me, or was she very pointedly uh, uh, talking in uh, in uh, what's it called um, innuendos that entire time? Oh, she definitely was. Like that was definitely on purpose, right? Oh, it had to have been. Last. Bless. Does she yes. want to fuck the crystals? Uh, I mean... Honestly, would not be the strangest thing I've heard in this game. Nyx! Ah! <laughs> Press button. Oh god. Oh god! Ah, they're licking me! Yeah. Death. Question, why do they have to spawn Nixes when Nixes literally do spawn right here? Why can't they just say, go out here and kill, uh, go out here and kill four Nixes? I don't know. I honestly don't know. Ow! Oh. Five, never mind. Damn. What have you done now? I... I'm just... ...getting a mother lucky. Hold on, for a second. Yeah, it's been happening with that's been happening with me too a little bit throughout the day. Okay, Nepotian, I uh, I have cleared the way for your crystal court trip. Clandestine crystal court trip? Yeah, that would have been better. It's always that alliteration that's got to get you. Yep. Always. I think this quest might be enough? Uh, if it is, definitely immediately do your Dragoon stuff. Oh, uh, you already slew the Nixes? It's... it's been... Uh, it's been barely... Yeah, after all, I'm still quite flushed from my outburst earlier. Uh, they were dead before... Uh... Th they were dead ere my rage had cooled? Well, that's quite lovely. They had it coming, those hoppers. Uh, Crystal Tower is still foremost in my mind, but adventurers may bear some studying too. Uh, perhaps a side project? Uh, this will be more of an experimental research. I, just f I shall find you a blood pack to sign. Um, I think that's your cue to get the fuck out of there. <laughs> well, I gave my piety materia to Anonymous, so... No, you didn't. Um, you gave it to Gigi. 
Oh well, yes, but then they took it out because it didn't actually do anything, remember? <laughs> they took it out and actually did give it to Nanamo after that. Yeah. Uh, oh, I choose between Battle Dance or Piety. So yeah, yes. I will take it. Ah, so close. I'm a conjurer. I can put a level 3 piety in something. Not anything you can equip as a conjurer. Shh. Uh, Lucia, right? Uh, I hear you get around. I'm an adventure myself. My name's, uh, uh... My name's Kakamehi. Uh, hey, we can't all have an interesting name like yours. Look. <laughs> look, I can cut you in on something fair if you're interested. Uh, there's a camp set up east of here by an outfit called the Sons, uh, uh, called the Sons of S the Sons of Saint Coinuck. Scholarly types, you know, uh, studying the what do you call it, Elegant Empire. There's apparently some, some s apparently some sort of ancient civilization. Uh, talk to a fellow called uh, Nazile Duzile there, and he'll have something for you. Good folks, then tell him I sent you. They are pretty cool people. You'll get to know them. Let's say you'll get to know them during the post game. During the lead up to Heaven's Word. Hooray! Note, it is not an option. So, question. Uh, the end game stuff uh, for ARR is, like, like uh, required. Uh, it's not something that's just, like, optional at the end before you do Heaven's Word. Like, you actually have to do it to do Heaven's Word. Yes. At least this part of it. The, we'll, we'll, I'll, I'll, A good portion I'll, of it. I'll give you, like, the details when we get to it. But, like, specifically, you have to unlock hard mode versions of the ARR primals. And those are basically just eight man versions of the primal fight, the normal primal fights. And then you also have to do the Alliance Raid, which is related to the Crystal Tower. Oh, fun. Yeah. And it's basically just a giant walking Final Fantasy 3 endgame reference. Fair enough. And I want to fucking die every time I remember Final Fantasy III's endgame. It was so miserable. It's so miserable. I've never gotten to the endgame of Final Fantasy III. I think I've told it. I think I've told you this before. The only Final Fantasy game I've ever like finished 100% is Final Fantasy One, really. Yeah. I I remember I remember you saying that. Just the endgame of three is just. It's so brutal. And agonizing to go through. Oh, that's not one ship. What happens in the Final Fantasy uh, three in game? Like, why is it so bad? Uh, it basically just power spikes uh, entirely. Ah, uh, so like if you were expected to fight uh, Warmech in Final Fantasy one. Yeah, pretty much. Okay. Except, uh, Warmech doesn't lead to, uh, another surprise final area that you have to go through without saving. Well. Well, like, like, uh, like, imagine if the, the Chaos Shrine in one was twice as long. Okay. Already pretty bad. And you weren't allowed, you weren't allowed to save or, or, get a full heal at any point in time during it. Yep, well. Awful. It's terrible. Well, Mad Adventure, any comrade of Kakamehi is is certain to be of great help to us. You are interested in helping, I trust. Uh, we sons of St. Karnak have had our share of troubles of late, and your assistance will be most welcome. I think you will find it, in, you'll find, uh, find it an equally rewarding enterprise. I am... I am two hundred. I am. I, I'm five hundred twenty-six thousand and eighty-seven out of five hundred twenty-nine thousand. <laughs> uh, do a do a leave quest around here. I'm gonna go murder this very big guy. Do it, Gygus Bonds. Your fate is sealed. Do the murder thing. This guy's probably worth a thousand experience, right? Probably. Just bunch of stormfish, huh? Ah, close. Lightning sprite, murder. 
I'm just going on a murder spree. Isn't that just what all grinding is, really, when you think about it? Let me pass this relatively, like, non-specific point in my training. <laughs> Gaigas Shramana. Hiya! Oh, you're about to get Chaos Thrust, too. What's Chaos Thrust? Chaos Thrust is your dot effect. What's a dot? And also your first positional. Your dot? Damage over time. Well, that's assuming that I'm trying to get to level 50 for that purpose. And you, and you are positive that I'm not. Oh, I know you're not. I know you want to get to level 50 to prove to Vestinian that you're actually the Azure Dragoon, because you're actually cool. No, you act like I'm uh, trying to get to level 50 to do anything with Dragoon. <laughs> hey. Yeah. Don't get yourself. Oh, that's fair. <laughs> Yeah, no, no, I don't, I don't know why, why I even thought that. <laughs> like Cobra, die. Didn't I need to kill these things for one of the hunting logs? I can't remember. Yes, I believe you did. And then I had you standing by me and just murdering them instead. <laughs> just throw out a rune too, and the thing dies. Well, that's true of most things in the game now for you. I mean, you know. Only in a realm reborn. Oh, and probably a lot of, of things, Heaven's Word. Yeah, probably a lot of things in Heaven's Word, too. I would be surprised if a couple things in Stormblood that also applied to. Uh. Yeah, maybe like an early Stormblood? I wouldn't go much further than that, though. There's probably one thing somewhere in, uh, in uh, Shadowbringers you could one shot. I don't think so. Not yet, anyway. Chain kills, chain kills, chain kills. There's no more of them. Oh, wait, there's, there's some. <laughs> I just love how this has become, all right, now time to do old, old fashioned RPG grinding and just killing random monsters until I level up. <laughs> Listen, I've done like none of it throughout all of FF14 so far. I mean, you haven't had to. I don't have to now either. You don't. But I will, because I do actually like doing this kind of stuff. Hey, that's fair. It's very nice to turn off your brain for a second and just say, I'm gonna kill as many things as I can see. It is. It Honestly, it's one of the reasons where, why, like, I just have, like, Final Fantasy 1 is, like, a, it's, like, a game still installed. It's just, like, oh, I just want to mindlessly kill things for a few hours. Still need, still need to play the Pixel remake. Uh, we were, we were in theory going to play that together, weren't we? Yeah. Yes! Strong Lance Arm 5. Oh, Chaos Thrust. Bravo. And Bravo True North. 50. True North? is pretty yeah, nice, by the way. Yeah, that's the turn-off directional requirements. Yeah. Yes. Delivers an attack with the potency of 100, 150 when executed from the sphere. Oh, it's comboed with disembowel. Yep. Okay. So basically what I do is whenever I... Whenever I want to do disembowel, I just hit true north and then chaos thrust. Chaos thrust. You won't even need to hit true north a lot of the time. You'll just have to... Uh... Well, if I'm not in a dungeon, I will, because everything will be focused on me. Mm -hmm. Uh, I don't actually know where to put this. Um, I'm gonna switch limit break to eight and true north to three. Okay, that entire uh thing is filled. <laughs> and yep. cast thrust, you're gonna go on three up there. No, actually, cast thrust, you're gonna go on five because I need to reach over to hit disembowel anyway. So I might as well hit you right after that. <laughs> Makes sense to me. So I don't have anything. I'm gonna put on three. Probably gonna put on uh. I think I saw something that was, like, an actual thing. Dragonfire Dive? Yeah, I'll put that on three, maybe. Hey, you, hey, if you do your job quest, you'll be able to get that. And the Draken Armor! Draken! How, how long is the... Charge time is 45 seconds for True North. I feel like... I feel like 45 seconds between Disembowels is about right, actually. 
Uh, Chaos Nurse has a 24 second? Disembowel. Yeah. I know, but seconds. also Chaos Thrust. Chaos Thrust is 30 seconds? I think we're talking about two different things. Disembowel is a 30 second duration, so I do it about every 30 seconds. Uh, I was going to say, well, now you want to make sure when to you do, do Chaos Thrust every time. Yeah, because when Chaos a... Thrust is about to run out. Well, it's a 25 second duration, so I mean, I could just time that with Disembowels. Yeah, pretty much. Or I can time disembowels with that. That's, I mean, to be fair, I do do it before 30 a lot of the times anyways. Mm -hmm. Just because otherwise I would miss out on it on full thrust. Yeah, and really that's just kind of like the so best use, way to go about it. So I, so I use True North about every other time I use Chaos Thrust. Yeah. Okay. Okay. And even if for whatever reason I can't do it from the target's rear, it's still not, like, bad. Nah. Okay. Uh, cool. Uh, where's it gonna go? Uh... Okay, and Shion is on her way home. This should work out perfectly. Yeah. Are you gonna end the stream on, uh, on doing Dragoon, or end the stream after Garuda? Uh... Bold of you to assume I'm doing Dragoon this stream. <laughs> Fair enough. Um, oh, I still have that showing up, don't I? <laughs> um, what's it supposed to be? It was like. Is it here? Yeah. Um, let me double check something. Mm -hmm. Ah, okay. You lied to me. I do have to. Uh, I have to. I I do have to be part of the last. I do have to have done the last quest for the main part of story for Romy Born. All right, I'm being kidnapped to go get to go get celebration food for my brother for clearing uh, UCOB. <laughs> so, ah, uh, time. Okay. <laughs> I'm sorry. That's fine. <laughs> yeah, I shall return. Can't believe last lied to me. I know, right? I'm sorry. Ah, <laughs> uh, so yeah, for anyone who's wondering what I was trying to do there, I was trying to get Blue Mage. You cannot do it until you do uh, the quest, uh, the ultimate weapon. I'll have to do good now. After I do, um... I actually don't know if there's any way to tell before talking to him if this is, um... Uh, Leap of Faith or, uh, Air Force. What the... Oh, wait, what did I have to Hey! Leap of Faith. What the... Oh. Hello, my party. You lied to me. Hooray! This is the map I don't like, though. Whatever iteration of it it is, it's still annoying. Okay, please spawn in the trophies. Hello? Oh, wait, I see the bottoms of them over there. Oh, there they go. Well, wait, there's one on this side, too. Dang it. This is why I hate this one. You basically have to complete it twice to get all the... Uh, to get all the cat doors. I 
hear a jingle? What the? Okay, and I would get up here from the other way, so... Okay, and that's the first one I need to get. I think I should be fine now. I uh, don't know why they use a surf rock chord for this, but it, strangely enough, does kind of fit. I actually, in theory, I would know how to play this on guitar, even though I haven't played guitar in like forever. What's the, what's the like really famous song this is from? Oh, whoops. It's uh... I know, like, don't, 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 It's literally play something uh, for a few strums, put down a finger, and then play the, uh, then just slide your hand down and play the exact same thing again. Okay, that's all the gold and sil that's all the silver and bronze. Where's the, the gold is up there? Isn't it? Yeah. I really should play guitar more. I haven't I haven't picked up a guitar in like a month. Almost walked off. Walking sideways is always way faster than walking forwards backwards, and I don't know why. Okay. Hooray! 4,000 MGP! this instrument called? Isn't it some kind of piano that makes this sound? It's like a... It's like some type of organ, but it's played with, like, really, like... With really, like, uh... Tiny pipes. Isn't that, isn't that the kind of instrument that makes that sound? Uh... Shouldn't be anything else over here. See, I told last I wasn't going to do the Dragon story, but, um, like, no, um, if there's no, uh, tournament going on. Okay, fine, time to go to Corthos. supposed to go for my uh, next um, Dragon Quest? I assumed it was. Um. Into the Dragon's Maw. Okay, let's go. Let's go uh, kill a uh, Nidhogg. Or maybe kill a Stinian. I'm not sure. One of the two. Watch a Stinian get killed by Nidhogg? And then Nidhogg we fight later. That would make sense. I don't know why at level 50 I would be ready to fight Nidhogg of all things. Oh, that's the thing I accidentally picked up from, uh, Hanonza. 
Well, I'll be honest, I'll... Well, I was gonna say I'd probably do it as Blue Mage, because Blue Mage starts at level 1, but, um... <sighs> yeah, I have no clue. Can't do Blue Mage until I'm done with... I didn't see what that said. Um, I can't start Blue Mage until I finish ARR, which sucks. Last slide to me. Oh, the actual Dragon Mail. Worm's Armor Copper. Okay, it's a complete set of Worm's Armor. Can't be used for instance, used in instances. And then Dragonfire Dive. Jumping fire based attack with a potency of 380. Target all enemies nearby it. So essentially, it's just another jump, but this one does an AoE. Okay, sounds good enough for me. Recast 120? Okay. I'll take an AoE jump. I'll take as many jumps as they want to give me. Ah, uh, Lucia. An urgent message from Astinian. Er, an urgent message arrived from Astinian in your absence. He bids you come at once to the Steel Vigil. It would seem Nidhogg is on the move. And rather sooner than we had anticipated. It appears you have not yet fully become a master of the dragon within you, and yet we are racing against time. I fear we have no choice but to do battle to the best of your current abilities. And without the dragon mail, I promised. Now let us away. Asinian uh, must know the truth of Ferndale, lest he fall for the Great Worm's seduction. So yeah, a lot of people just say worm. I tend to say weirm. I know some people say wyrum. And that one is a little bit too far, I think. But I do say worm. It at least uh, separates it from a, you know, a worm, like, in the dirt. Where am I going? Oh. What the? It's just a... Okay. Fair enough. I thought I would, like, go up and talk to Astinian. No, apparently it's just an area. Probably gonna walk up and find a Stinian, like, already defeated. It's like, oh god. Like, oh, Nidhogg just, just looked at me and swatted me away. I don't know what the hell I was thinking. Should we be, con should we be concerned about bringing Nidhogg's eye back, like, in close proximity to it? Like, I don't know if that would be bad, but I feel like that might be bad. Stanian, you're around here. Uh. Well, okay then. Well, this thing is an effect. Okay, I guess me and Stanian are going for it. Who needs dragon mail? I'm just like a maid. Oh, brick. I have waited long for this day. You who fancy your shell, uh, you who fancy uh, yourself an azure dragoon, the man whose cause you have taken for your own is a coward. He relinquished the power of a dra uh, he relinquished the power of the dragon, of his own volition and watched as Ferndale burned. Do you not think it ironic that I was chosen, or or that I was chosen, azure dragoon? Why do people have to talk so weird? I, an orphan who has not a value uh, 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 to protect it in Ishgard. I suppose I must give thanks, for it was the eye that revealed to me the truth. A truth so damning as to undo a lifetime of trust. I loved you as a father, but I can ill forgive you for Ferndale. As I understand, you've kept even... Uh, you've kept even... Uh, 
uh, the Archbishop uh, in the dark are regarding the missing eye. Do you mean to take your shame to your grave? But I waste my breath. Prepare yourself, old man, for I shall lay waste uh, to all the things you hold dear. And once I'm finished with you, I shall do what Noah's your dragon, <laughs> what Noah's your dragoon has succeeded in doing. I shall claim Nidhogg's head. Calm yourself, Estinian. Your rage renders you vulnerable to the dragon's influence. Lucia. In you, I thought I had found kindred, someone beside whom I could fight the Great Worm. It is with a heavy heart that I relinquish that dream. Your affection for this coward has rendered you deaf to your own destiny. Very well. That we would one day cross lances was inevitable from the moment of our first meeting. As we shall now find out who, who is the eye's true chosen, there can be only one. Okay. Oh, yeah, I'm... Okay, yeah. I'll fight him. Sounds good to me. Woo! Hey, you like that jump I did? Chaos Thrust! Oh, right, I forgot True North. Oh, well. Oh, hey, let's see how we thingy. Estinian Wormblood. I'll be honest, I didn't think about him.